So I forget that it was Friday. And so I just want to leave you guys with these. So if you ever, uh, we have a Roku, is it Roku? No, it's a TCL TV, but you can go to Roku TV. Watch the Weird Al movie. It's fucking hilarious. I saw a clip today and it looks fucking amazing. Even though I was like, mm, I was like, Harry Potter? I don't know. But he does a good job. And what's funny is, of course, all the cameos in it and see if you can pick up on all the cameos. So, but I wanted to show you this one. Let me go back. Uh, go up. There it is. So, um, we watched last night. Um, let me see. What was it called? Sky Night. Night Sky. Is that it? No. Oh. I one of the things that's most annoying about Amazon is they're always trying to sell you something other than what you're looking for. You're like, I especially like their uh their fucking like website. Like I'm looking for this, and you type in the exact model number, you type in, you know, all kinds of stuff, and you can't find it. And I'm not finding it. It's like I just watched it. That's the show I told you guys about. It's fucking amazing. See, that's the other thing is I don't want to hear the preview. Don't start the fucking movie without asking me. That is fucking terrible. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. I'm looking for something I already watched. And it won't I show me. it was on Hulu. Who what? The one well, that we watched last night. It wasn't. It was on the Prime. Oh. They also got rid of, uh, um, or no, that's TV shows. They also, they also got rid of the free to me, which is bullshit, because uh, they want you to pay more uh, in the thing. I don't want to watch that TV show. And they did this top 10 bullshit. I don't want to see that either. Let me find it real quick. God this damn it. Cute. All right, so I found it. It's called Night Sky. So, and I just want to... Just leave it there. Don't do anything, Prime. I'm just looking at it. Don't make any decisions for me. So, uh, the this, this show got canceled already. They did season one. It's got a 7.4 on IMDb. It's because it's a good show. My biggest complaint is that they don't get to the cool shit fast enough. That is probably the a little bit of the whoever wrote the story and also directed and produced it. That's all that team. Um Get to the good stuff next time. They spend a lot of time with a bunch of sentimental stuff that doesn't really belong in the story. Um, and of course, again, I get aggravated with a lot of what Hollywood does, which is they just make the whole thing a preview for the next season. And that gets very frustrating. It sort of goes back to the um, Alan Watts uh, talk about that you're always motivated to go to the next level you go to the next level go to the next level and there's 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 no end there's no end to it, it, it you look back and you realize that you've been a consumer the whole time and they've, they've manipulated you and harvested you that's sometimes what hollywood shows do because it's profitable to manipulate your attention and i don't appreciate that i want to get to the good stuff that's why you guys watch my channel to get to the good stuff on the whole very good story I recommend actually downloading the book on uh, Audible, which is also an uh, Amazon company, and listening to the story on book because I'm sure there's, I'm positive this is uh, based on uh, a book. So, but um, thumbs up on Night Sky, and then right now it's Friday, so we're gonna watch Peripheral with uh, Chloe Moretz, um, which is an amazing, amazing um, show. I think it's the best show on TV right now. Um, what's <laughs> What's funny is I, st I read some of the reviews of the show. <laughs> they are not positive. And most of it is because most people are, are dumb. They're idiots. And they don't understand quality information or a quality show. And that happens a lot. And so, like, um, I love watching the behind the scenes on some, like, even Star Trek shows. Where they they get notes from executives telling the producers to dumb down the show 
so that it attracts a wider audience. You don't always want a wider audience. Like me, I don't want a wider audience. I don't want fucking soccer moms tuning into my channel. Fuck you. Um, I want a certain kind of person and I want to give them the most quality experience that I can, which is really the result is a good life. If I, if I can see you independent and making one, two, three grand a week cash at home, that's where I want to see you. Then we can talk about religion. Then we can talk about politics. Then we can talk about all kinds of other stuff. But until you're at that point, that's where I think that, and again, that's why I've integrated this into our religion is that uh, this is what I think religion should be teaching, should be teaching you how to be independent rather than, uh, you know, nursing off the teat of whatever. Uh, and then also taking your money and molesting your children. I don't think that's a really great uh, use of time and uh, money. Um, but uh, this show is fantastic. I really, really like it. They do a little bit of that where they drag the story a little bit along. One of the, my biggest complaint on something like that would be the last episode or the last season of uh, Stranger Things. Um, they did a little bit of that where you end up at the same spot where you were the season pre previously. It's kind of annoying, but I did like the, the Russian stuff that they did in Russia and all that kind of stuff. But that's just my comment on Stranger Things. If, I, I, if you want me to do a full review on that, I will. So, but anyways, go watch this. What you'll find is that you'll have to watch it twice. I've had to watch it twice. And then what we do now is I'll watch the previous episode tonight. And then we'll watch the new episode that comes out every Friday. So, and so that way, I, and then I'll do the same thing next week. And it's a fucking, it's, it's, a, it's, it's very engaging. It's very, it, it presses on your cerebral stuff. And it's also it's full of beautiful people and it's beautiful to look at. The scenery is great. Um, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of really cool things in it and sci-fi and I love sci-fi. So anyways, I wanted to put, give that out to you guys. Um, uh, I'll do some more show reviews and stuff too. I love you. Bye.